Heads turned, jaws dropped, hearts broke, and social media went crazy when TMZ dropped pictures of actor Michael B. Jordan alongside Lori Harvey on Thanksgiving 2020. Since then, we've all been on the sidelines admiring and questioning the aspects of their relationship, from their cringy pet names. Who calls you Turtle? Mike calls me Turtle, <laughs> my baby calls me Turtle. Outsiders think the couple is doing too much to prove the legitimacy of their romance. So RRG did a little digging, and we were able to uncover some interesting information that points to something fishy going on with this arrangement. But before we get started, don't forget to grab something to eat at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of barbecue brisket beef jerky, cookies and cream popcorn, and strawberry licorice. Okay, now let's jump into today's video. This story wouldn't be complete without an in-depth analysis and a complete backstory. So get comfortable as we take a trip back to 2015 when Michael was gearing up for the release of two mega films, Fantastic Four and Creed. He was on the path to becoming the next big thing, and the increased attention put a spotlight not only on his craft, but also on his good looks and rock-hard body. Naturally, this also meant he became more desirable on a larger scale. But Michael made some major missteps at the height of all the frenzy. In May 2015, he received an invitation to that year's Met Gala and was photographed leaving an after-party with Kendall Jenner. As you can imagine, the internet imploded and his fan base was outraged that he was possibly hooking up with a non-black woman. When GQ asked him about the backlash, Michael said, They see white and black. I don't. Kendall's a friend of mine, you know? I don't know her like that. Well, but I know her enough. As far as his fans who were upset because they wanted to see him with a black woman, Michael told GQ, I get it. But on the other hand, it's like, relax, you know, it's 2015, it's okay. But it wasn't okay because Michael continued to put his foot in his mouth. During that same interview, his ambition to become a top actor was evident. And after finishing the low-budget sci-fi film entitled Chronicle, he told his team, I only want to go out for roles that were written for white characters. Michael said his agency respected his goal and what he was trying to achieve in the film industry. But what would his core fan base think about his desire? When it was announced he would play the role of Eric Killmonger in Black Panther, there was a heavy weight on his and the rest of the cast's shoulders. There was so much buzz in anticipation of the movie's release, which was the first mega-budget movie to have an African-American writer and director and a predominantly black cast. Michael and the rest of the cast gave multiple interviews to build up the hype. And in November 2017, Michael participated in Vogue's 73 Questions segment. When asked about the craziest rumor he's ever heard about himself, he answered, That I don't date black women. His response calmed the nerves of his fans for a while, up until Michael invited a Latino woman to his family's Kwanzaa celebration. The same woman, who was later identified as his then-girlfriend Ashlyn Castro, was also by his side on New Year's Eve. After the video of him and his girlfriend hit the internet, fans were so disappointed, many of them even stated they would be boycotting Black Panther. The film was released in January 2018 and brought in over $1 billion at the box office. Everyone was proud that the movie was so successful, and people couldn't help but notice Michael and his co-star, Lupita Nyong'o, had some major chemistry during press tours. Fans hoped that maybe love had blossomed between them, but that wasn't the case. Even though he attempted to keep his private life away from the public eye, the paparazzi hunted him down all the way to Saint-Tropez in July 2018. Cameras captured Michael and his friend, TV personality Stilo Brim, on a boat with a bunch of white women. The images led to online headlines like Becky's Only Boat Party and Milky mayo -y Boat Tour. Michael felt the need to hop on Instagram Live to address the issue. Newsflash, okay? All right? Yeah. There's not a lot of black women in Italy, okay? It was a funny comment on there talking about the cookies and I don't know, about white milk. No, I like milk, all right? I like chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk. I like almond milk, strawberry milk. You know the Cinnamon Toast Crunch? 
know what I'm saying? The milk after that, I like that too. That's pretty. That's pretty good. All right. I like milk. Period. That's the funny thing. That was definitely. That was his girl. That was my wife. <laughs> hey, look, I date everybody too, but that's my white girlfriend. I love her. I love you, baby. Oh, As more blogs picked up the story, internet users were relentless in their quest to prove that Michael was faking his love for black women. In July 2019, an old video resurfaced of him rapping on a beach, and many people weren't surprised with the type of woman that was playing his love interest. In the next few months, Michael was linked to Snow Allegra. Then came rumors he was dating a Kenyan fashion designer. And what was Lori up to? Well, she was playing the field as well. After ending her engagement to Dutch soccer player Memphis Depay, sometime around 2018, she was linked to several men, including Trey Songz, Diddy, Diddy's son, Justin Combs, and Future. Future was out of the picture by August 2020, and two months later, The Shade Room obtained a video of Lori out in Miami looking real cozy with Akon's brother, Boo Chom. And just one month later, Michael and Lori were spotted exiting a plane in Atlanta. Sources stated they were in town to celebrate Thanksgiving with Lori's family. So how did their relationship progress so quickly to the point where Michael skipped out on spending the holiday with his own family, which he's really close with, to share the holiday with his new rumored girlfriend? Well, now that's where the whole publicity stunt speculation comes into play. It's no secret that publicists will sometimes encourage their celebrity clients to date other celebrities in order to elevate their careers. And a veteran Hollywood publicist named Jack Ketsowin and Kevin Dixon, a former editor at In Touch magazine, exposed the truth about this PR tactic in their book entitled Blind Item. They stated that fake relationships were once used to cover up a celebrity's sexuality. But these days, PR romances are used to generate hype. It isn't uncommon for stars to sign a love contract that requires them to date each other for a certain period of time. Many of these arrangements can boost a celebrity into the position of becoming a household name. So how can we, as the public, determine whether a relationship is fake or not? Well, to start, the authors claim that PR romances usually last about three years because that's the typical length of a relationship contract. The celebrities usually step out together when one or both of them have something big to promote, like an album, a movie, or a TV show. Another sign of a fake relationship is when the couple is at every red carpet appearance. And if the celebrity was once really private, but they're all of a sudden doing back-to-back -back interviews to talk about their private life, that's a sign that the relationship could be under contract. According to the authors, the media loves fake couples because it means they're very cooperative when it comes to taking photos and giving interviews. The tabloids also help fuel the fake romance by creating stories about the couple every few months to keep their names in the news. Some celebrities end up extending their relationship contract because it turns into a successful business partnership. But after faking something for so long, they usually get tired and want to move on and create a real relationship with someone they're truly interested in. MTV star Steve O is one of the few celebrities who has admitted to being in a fake relationship. He told The Howard Stern Show he was linked up with Nicole Richie back in 2006 because, quote, she wanted some publicity for something other than being skinny. So how would a PR relationship benefit Michael? Well, even though he has the right to love who he loves, his fan base was growing increasingly frustrated with his dating preference. Michael made it clear at the start of his career that he wanted to be a top actor, and that wouldn't be possible unless he had the support of his core fan base. In other words, he was this close to getting the Tay Diggs treatment. And if you have no idea what we're referring to, you definitely need to watch our Tay video after we wrap up this Michael and Lori topic. But anyway, as for Lori and why would she need to enter a PR relationship, it all boils down to double standards. There were certain people who gave her props for dating multiple men in a short time frame, but then there were others who thought Lori was giving herself a bad reputation by men hopping. An online message board even posed the question, who's the biggest o, Lori or Common? And haters left ridiculous comments on Lori's Instagram as well. Even though Lori had the right to date as many men as she wanted, her reputation was taking a hit. And things got worse because Lori stayed quiet and never addressed any of the rumors and speculation about her character. 
So what would be another way for Lori to put an immediate stop to all of the negative press about her dating habits? Hmm, entering into a PR relationship with an on-the-rise actor would divert everyone's attention, right? And by linking up with Lori, Michael was able to put those he-doesn't-like-black-women rumors to rest and get back on his fans' good side. Sounds like a pretty sweet deal, right? Lori and Michael went Instagram official in January 2021. An insider told People magazine they took their time before going public with their relationship because they wanted to get to know each other in private first. The source also stated Lori and Michael had been dating for months, which means Michael was supposedly in the picture when Lori was hugged up with Boo. Either that or the source embellished the truth in regards to the timeline of Lori and Michael's relationship. And then 103 Jams suggested the couple may have entered a private deal with a certain blog to raise the profile of their new relationship. But despite all the speculation, Lori and Michael weren't going to let anything stand in the way of their new romance. On Valentine's Day 2021, Michael rented out an entire aquarium just for the two of them. Days later, he posted two photos of him and Lori on his Instagram. And after looking past the stunning pictures, fans were in disbelief by Michael's caption, which read, I love you, baby. Fans wondered how they fell for each other so quickly since they barely went public with their relationship one month prior. And for the notoriously private star, his caption was doing the most, and no one was really falling for it. Since the start of their relationship, Michael's career has continued on an upward trajectory. He was named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive in November 2021, and he has several films in production that are guaranteed to be blockbuster hits, like Creed III and Methuselah. Lori, on the other hand, had a successful partnership with fashion brand Naked Wardrobe. She landed a gig as a judge on the 2021 Miss Universe pageant, and she launched her own skincare line. She and Michael cross-promote each other's projects on their social media accounts, which increases their exposure. After the launch of her skincare line, her products sold out just a few days later, and Michael is now taking home huge paychecks for his movie roles, including a $15 million payday for his role in the 2021 film Without Remorse. There's still a possibility that everyone has it wrong between Michael and Lori, and the love between them is true and authentic. If that's the case, then we certainly wish them nothing but the best. Let us know your thoughts on Lori and Michael's romance. And thanks for watching RRG.